We don't have the right. Islamic clerics wants Muslim against blocking road for prayers. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. An Islamic cleric based in Ilori has sent a warning to worshippers who have formed the habit of blocking major roots in the guise of them praying to Allah. You know, I fell in love with this. As in, with this, this is the kind of people that when you hear them preach about Islam, you want to join. You understand? Because you be asking, is it the same Islam that they are practicing with some people? You be saying, why are these people seeming like you know? They're this kind of people that if the other people practice Islam, see, they say this one, they are no pure. Say their own Islam, Kodenu. <laughs> it is in detail, please. In a trending video, the cleric warned his compatriot that they should desist from such an act, describing it as bad habit. The video which has gathered mixed reactions was shared by an Instagram user. In the video, the cleric says such an act is dangerous and could lead to a loss of life. The Lorry cleric said, and I quote, We have to be very careful. People have a right, and I keep saying it. We do not have a right as Muslims to block the road because we want to pray. Why would we be blocking roads because you want to pray? Even if it is five minutes, somebody can lose his or her life in that five minutes. Someone is sick and they need to rush him to the hospital. You block the road. Tell me how that person will not die. Let alone the nonsense we do in this town here in Ilori. People are so wicked that on Saturdays, sometimes even on weekdays, because they want to do naming ceremony or wedding ceremony, they block the road. You would have reached half of the road before you would realize that they have their tent on the road. You have to go back. See, eh? And to me, I don't think this is just for Muslims so alone. This goes round. I don't see the essence of you blocking the road. We keep saying that when Nigeria will be like abroad. But see, if they bring their broad life to come here, so many of us no go survive. You see this blocking of road issue? Ah, believe you me. Governments are then going to use a woman feed Jegu. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Then go use and chop people money, especially when they say if we block road and you are going to pay a fine of so so so. Ah, government, oh, yeah. they will chop you people's money because you see prayers. Have you seen where these people gather to pray before? I say major road, more blocky. They will tell it's just five minutes, just 15 minutes. You're going to be stuck somewhere. And just like the cleric said, what if somebody is convulsing? What if somebody is having an attack, a stroke attack, and the person is supposed to be rushed to the hospital? You understand? You can't say because of you are praying, that person should not pass. This goes both for even, uh, what's it called, Christians as well. You have no right to cover the road. I don't care what you are saying. No. I do not care what you are doing. But you have no right. The same way it is applied to Christians. It is applied to Muslims. Rent your space, rent the hall, come outside, do your evangelism, preach your whatever. But don't block my block, or no. don't block the road. Do you understand? Even in this abroad, there are places you are going to carry your play, your this now enter safe and this is making noise. They will sue you to court. You go and answer, why you even come and be carrying that thing that is making noise? Talk less of when you now enter the environment. Are you sure you are a Muslim? We all know that Muslims look for trouble by doing things against the law and against other religion all because they want to share blood for their vampire. My dear, I say I fell in love with this method of preaching. Kai, I, I was, for the first time, it, is, was, it seems soothing. His message was soothing to, and I could relate it. This is not just for Islam. I could relate it to everyone. Like, if everybody did think like this, I don't think we're going to be having problems in this country. May God bless you, sir. Continue to educate them. Same thing happens with El Zazaki that led to killing of many lives in Zara and Joss. We must pray in secret to our Allah who is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him in sincerity. If you pray on the block, okay, if you pray on block road for people to praise you, you have no reward from God. May God open our eyes to see the reason to stop killing in the name of Allah. Don't fight for your gold. Let your God fight for you. Oh God, they might even come for you now with this post. What you do? The only sensible person bold enough to call a spirit a spirit. May God Almighty protect you from your people because they fit by you first. <laughs> but no jokes apart. 
That is how bad, you see, extremists. Oh my goodness. That is how bad it is. Government at all levels should take necessary actions. Me, I would say there should be a law passed though. If you blow crude, you pay. You understand? Mr. Cleric, is now your eye open, blocking road for prayers and abomination. Even your prayer cannot be answered. Please stop deceiving your... I don't understand. Somebody come and say, I can't talk the truth. Now they attack on which kind of country? What kind of a country is this? If not last like why are people like this? Why? Yeah? <laughs> Where is this man? Oh, God will bless you and your ministry. If Islam knows and addresses this kind of truth, everybody go join them. Talk. And that is true. But they are just projecting themselves as terrorists and murderers everywhere. We don't understand the mission of the religion. Okay, well, we can share the uh, trade with caution, Sha. Okay. Oga, you know, say I know one, you then go kill you. <laughs> why is people? Why are people coming to want this man? But I beg, what is this man talk? Not true. That be not be true. Mm. This is an open truth. Blocking the road for prayers, wedding etc. is totally condemnable. I agree with you. Your people think they are doing God a favor when they pray to him. Therefore, however wrong is the process of prayer, they just feel justified by it. And I am also with the person who said, you know, pray in secret. You don't need to come outside and tell the whole world they are actually praying. Sure. First time a cleric of death speaks against anything. It is the Holy Spirit that can change man from the human nature, not Islamic religion or any religion by made by man of sin. Religion or religion's practices come from witchcraft and man of the flesh to lead people astray from the true and the living God. Muslims are fond of praying to Allah, blocking the road, markets, streets, even in Lagos, talkless of desert states and the north, illiteracy. <laughs> it is happening since before you were born and it will not stop. Are you serious? Go and try it in Saudi and see where you've been the next year. Always copying the wrong things. Of I they tell you. Okay, somebody is saying it, it never, you know, go stop. I pity for you. I pity for you. You get places where you go carry this pala pala smelling behavior go. And you will see for the rest of your life, you are going to be paying for it. Which kind of prayer is that? In the course of your prayers, and you make anyone go through pain or suffer. Suffering of any how God will never accept your prayers. <laughs> hmm. Even the Christian does the same thing. Yes, they do. When they cover that road and say they are doing program, Oga, it is not okay. It's not okay. My dear, where have you seen Christian blocking road while praying when they are doing program? Make with the tell yourself the truth. Hmm? Islamic religion have become a thorn in the two people's humanity. In this generation, if you rebook them publicly, they will start looking for a way to kill you with cutlass. Uh -uh. All right, and this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.